What's happening, family? Coming to you again from coming to you again from all angles. I keep telling you guys, we got nothing to worry about. Don't care what they do. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Remember, a couple of videos back, I told you guys that when they dropped a bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it wake up the whole universe. And a university we call a council universe or the collective for the rest of light. They say, listen, these kids don't they're playing with bombs they don't know what they're playing with. We have to go down there and stop these kids. They don't they're playing with stuff they don't know what they are playing with. They're doing some little crazy stuff for the kids. We have to go there. When they drop that bomb, they'll wake up the whole universe. They say, no, 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 no. We have to go there and stop those kids from doing that kind of foolishness. They're kids playing with matches. We, we can't allow that. That's why I told you guys, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Because whatever they do, it's going to be stop. I'm not going to put a clip here. I do not me make a disclaimer right here. I do not own the rights to these clips or these videos. These videos is for informational purposes only. But it goes to show, like I said before, we ain't got nothing to worry about. My man here said the same thing I said a couple of days ago too. YouTube is going back into your old videos that you post years ago and striking you for videos that you post years ago because they are running scared. So when you want to wake people up, they don't want that to happen. But it cannot be stopped. Okay, folks, I'm going to drop this clip on here. They speak for itself. I do not own the right to the video. This video is for informational purposes only. Hang on, folks. So this is why, again, they're trying to talk about they going to the moon in about a year, 2024. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch it closely. You gotta watch it closely how they disarm the interdialectical beings, how they disarm this rocket or this bomb. Watch it closely. See that? Knock it out of the sky. See that? Knock that nuclear bomb right out of the sky. We warn you. We warn you. We say, don't do that shit again. And check this. 11 and 14,000 miles an hour. Check this one out. See that? Hitting it from all angles of this arm and nuclear power. have a pause it because a lot of information I can't put it because you know how it works they're going to strike you so I have it on pause but I'm trying to get back to the part I want you guys to see or really listen to so hang in here folks okay folks this part here <laughs> you listen to it because it is something that you have to know let me tell you something and this is going to be a sad thing that I'm going to say but I'm going to put my face on the screen let me say this to you real fast Children taste better. Cannibalism. I just want y'all to know this. This has been historic fact. You can look it up. You can read up about the last dark ages. 
and why they would why they wanted children more than they wanted adults. They would eat a child before they ate adults. They would feed the children oysters. Children taste better. I'm not here to groove nobody the fuck out. You can pull you can you can search this up for yourself. This is why it's a separation and all this shit is taking place. You gotta be able to look at these videos and know historic facts when it comes to dealing with these species. And then you will see the avenue that they are going down, how they're using political laws and uh, lies to, to, to get take advantage and get a hold of, you know, your people, your, uh, of little ones. That's all. Take it from here. Turns out all of these very forceful policies are now what is coming back to bite the CCP. Listen oh, carefully. We'll get into that in just a second. So now, in one of the world's richest cities, residents scream, give us food. Oh. You hear that? Hold on. See, this is why I wanted to play the video. And, and one of the world's richest cities, they ain't say poverty, they say richest city. They screaming, give you, give us food. But we'll get into that in just a second. So now, in one of the world's richest cities, residents scream, give us food. Last week, they were so hungry they ransacked the grocery store. The world's third largest city, Moscow. 25. Folks, this info is so deep, I can't recall all of it. I really can't recall all of it. But um, check this here out when you get a chance because it's like a day ago. Check it out. Oh, my boy. My boy right here, um, Khalid Marat Hamara. Check the whole video out. I can't do the whole thing because it's like an hour. See how it's like an hour and 70 minutes? I ain't doing the whole thing. The man got some deep, serious information. And I keep telling you guys over and over again, we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. We ain't got. Don't get what they do. It's not going to work. I'm out of here, man. Peace out. One love.